how how come your uncle is telling you this and the the students was like and um, three of my brothers have already done computer science so they want me to do a different course so i'm like eh? why are you not you know painting you know and selling your paints and stuff like that and she was like my mom says i should do right <laughs> i'm like what you don't base your change of program on such reasons they are baseless like so in this video i just want to touch on five things you should consider when you want to change your program hello and welcome to my channel i'm missing them deborah if today happens to be the first time you're watching me please subscribe to the channel don't forget to leave a comment like and share with your loved ones and friends and thank you all my returning viewers for coming back to watch this video like my videos you know yeah all right so i'm gonna go straight to the point um a couple of days back i was at the office and then i saw students trooping in some students trooping in and they were like I want to change my course and my program. I want to change my program from IT to computer science, from computer science to IT, from computer science to cyber security. And then I think a couple of times I was tempted to ask these uh, students why they wanted to change their program. It may interest you to know that, that the reasons why they want to swap or change their programs was like, it didn't really sit well with me some were like okay they wanted to change their program because their parents asked them to like for for a long time now we've had parents you know deciding for their what what programs they should read and all of that and there's absolutely no problem with us because your parents have been with you from the very beginning they know your potential for the most part they know what you are capable of doing and not like and what you are not capable of doing so that one i wouldn't go into it so much but then i have to sound this question parents as much as you know that this is my ch my child's passion and all of that doesn't mean you know what is going on like exactly what is going on at the classroom okay so before you decide to let your child or what choose a particular program or switch from one program to the other find out from your child what he or she really wants what they actually want to do okay it goes a long way to help well that's besides it um let me digress a little a couple of months back I was invigilating and then I saw this young girl behind her paper. She was done with her work or her exam and she was just lying on the table like this and was drawing. Drawing from memory, like there was no book there she was looking on to draw, okay? So she was just drawing with her pen. And the artwork I saw was marvelous. It was amazing. Like I just couldn't imagine you know somebody just sitting down and then using a pen to start sketching something and then it came so well like it was so nice and i asked her what course are you offering she said she was offering it i'm like what in god's name are you doing here why are you not you know painting you know and selling your paints and stuff like that and she was like my mom says i should do it <laughs> i'm like what your mom does your mom know you you, you could draw this well and she just laughed it over you see sometimes parents have to take their time when it comes to deciding you know the program they are what wants to actually pursue in the university that besides it another reason i got from one of the students was that um, my uncle wants me to switch you know my program from this to this and i'm like um how how come your uncle is telling you this and the the students was like and um, three of my brothers have already done computer science so they want me to do a different course so i'm like eh? <sighs> three of your brothers have done computer science and so when you do computer science what 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 is wrong with it 
uh, Prophet Brian Amwatin. I'm going to leave his picture somewhere here or something. He has, is it four or five brothers? They are all prophets. All of them are into ministry. What's wrong did they do? Like, if your entire generation of family members are computer scientists, what's wrong does it, like, what is wrong with that? Do, like, do you get what I'm trying to say? You don't base your change of program on such reasons. They are baseless. Like, so in this video, I just want to touch on five things you should consider when you want to change your program, okay? Yes, I don't know who this is going to help, but at least watch the video to the end and then maybe share with your colleagues or friends. Probably they are in that state or dilemma or something. Parents are pushing them here and there. Friends are, you know, pushing them here and there. Change your program and all of that. At least consider these things before you try changing your program okay so the first thing i would like to talk about is what is motivating you why did you choose the program you wanted to choose in the first place and what is now making you choose the other one you want to go for this time around what is your motivation what is your passion what is your interest what are you looking for okay in this other program that's the first one isn't giving you you get if you are able to identify this then you are one step closer to what you really want to achieve so find out what your interest is in this particular course you are going for and what is making you leave that particular course you want to leave or program you want to leave do you get it the second thing you would like to consider is to evaluate how this current program you are going for aligns with your career aspirations are you choosing the program because your parents wanted to choose it or because everybody is saying okay this program yeah when you do it um you get job easily and all of that that's how you want to do it hello what are your career aspirations or you are the kind who you know who is like spontaneous in that okay let me just do this program when i finish whatever job comes i get to do it and that's it are you, are you that kind of person know your job your career aspirations and know how they align with the particular program you are going for okay another thing you can consider before changing your program is reviewing your admission requirements some people think that um if i am able to enter the school then i could just switch my program regardless easily and then that ends it eh. <laughs> Please, that's not how it works, okay? The fact that you've been granted admission is not a ticket to changing your program at will. There were certain things they considered before giving you the program. Unless, of course, let's say you applied with a business background and then all of a sudden, out of all the business programs you chose, they end up giving you a science program or an arts program like do you get it then that one you can actually pursue it to the end so that whatever you are bringing on board is what they are giving you if you chose business you know programs all throughout they should give you those at least one of them do you get it yes so if that is the case then it's a different one but to think that oh okay um i want to enter into it and i applied for computer science computer engineering and it and i was given it out of the three hello they didn't just get up to give you it there were certain requirements you were supposed to you know meet and then they compare your results among other things so go back and then check your admission requirements to see if you really fall in place or if you really fall under the criteria that would give you the option of swapping or switching to another program before you you mess up a whole lot of things and this program changing is a long process you are not the only one for all you know who needs that change of program number one number two the the school or um, the faculty or department would now have to go through your records check which one you were doing check your results or if you are a fresh or a new student you now have to go and check your 
um, your details, your admission, whatever, your results and all of that compared to see if you actually fit. And all this while that these things are going on, class is ongoing, lectures is ongoing. So are you going to go to the new class or you still be in the in the old class until you are you are told that okay your program has been changed or not changed before you you do your switches or whatever. What if you remain in the old class and at the end of the day they send you to the new program and you are far behind? And what if you go to the new program, you join students there, and then at the end of the day they don't change you, and so you have to go back. You've missed out. So you've got to be very, very careful when making this particular decision. So another thing you would have to consider would be the financial aspect, okay? Every program and the cost aligned to it. Of course, you should know this. So will you be able to afford the new program in case it is more costly than the one you're currently doing? You would also have to really, really, really consider that. And then the last thing I would like to say is seek for counseling seek counseling from academic you know academic advisors counselors you know seek advice guidance okay you need it ask people who've been there before don't just rush into making this decision you yourself research ask questions if you can't sit your butt down to research on why you need this program and not that one then you are being what an educated illiterate or something like that you should know the reason why you are going for this program you should know the benefits you are going to derive in this program and that program as well so sit down do your research seek for guidance and counseling before you make the ultimate decision of swapping or switching to another program in the university i know of colleagues who started and then at a point in time they didn't really want the program anymore and they had to start all over again from level 100 and you can imagine to them they are cool with it some they feel like they first take money and all of that it is never too late to you know go back to what you really think is right but try and then consider these things before you make the ultimate decision i hope i've been helpful so yeah if you like what you've watched um, recommend it to somebody by sharing. Click on the share button and then share with your colleagues and friends and loved ones. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are, you know, on this particular issue. And yes, don't forget to subscribe. Until my next video, peace. Jesus loves you. Bye.